What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday we heard an official report from the Hollywood Reporter that Marvel Studios is changing the name of Avengers 5, changing it from Avengers Kang Dynasty to something else and changing the focus. And it sounds like the new focus is actually going to be Avengers vs. X-Men. That's right, the next Avengers film that we might see might actually be an Avengers vs. X-Men film. And if you think about it, coming right out of Deadpool and Wolverine, where we know a lot of the original Fox X-Men characters are going to return, and apparently at the end, end up in the main MCU's sacred timeline, well then it would make sense that we would have the X-Men and the Avengers going at each other. We've talked about this a few times on the channel, but I firmly believe that when all of these characters start to come together and end up in one universe, characters from other universes that might not have the same teams, the same heroic teams in their universe, might see all of the other teams as a threat. For example, we don't have the X-Men in our main MCU sacred timeline. So when incursions start to happen and characters from other universes all of a sudden end up in our main sacred timeline, there are probably going to be some Avengers and heroic characters who do not trust these new people from other universes, especially if they have incredibly strong powers. And that is the basis of what I think we are going to get for Avengers vs. X-Men. Now, if you recall, Deadline a while ago said that we're going to have over 60 plus characters in Avengers 5. Well, if they are bringing over some characters from the old Fox X-Men universe with Deadpool and Wolverine, it makes sense that there would be that many characters in this movie. And it actually sounds like we're going to be getting an announcement for this new Avengers vs. X-Men film in just a little over a week. A new report tells us that we should be getting this at San Diego Comic-Cons Hall H. And it's coming from a great source, Alex Perez over at thecosmiccircus.com. When the news broke yesterday about the Russo brothers returning to Marvel Studios to direct not only Avengers Secret Wars, but also Avengers 5, the next Avengers film, and when the Hollywood Reporter stated that Avengers 5 would not be Kang Dynasty and would focus not on Kang, everybody started talking about what it would focus on. Then Alex Perez tweeted in reply to the news breaking, my personal picks for Avengers 5 would be World War Hulk if they want to do a grounded story that unites the Avengers before the final incursion, or Avengers vs. X-Men if they want to do a multiversal story and dive right into the final act of the multiverse saga. Now here's where it gets interesting. Somebody replied, I feel like it's too early to do Avengers vs. X-Men, but then Alex replied to that stating, I know it feels that way now, wait until next week. And I think that he is referring to two things here. One, I think he's referring to the release of Deadpool and Wolverine. By the way, we're a week away. By this time next week, a lot of us will only be a few hours away from seeing Deadpool and Wolverine, and I do think it's really going to change the course of the MCU. But I believe that that is what Alex is referring to. Next week, the thought of an X-Men vs. Avengers movie being early or not having been set up properly yet will go away, because the movie will make it possible in a very big way. But I also do, of course, think that he is referring to Marvel Studios' panel at San Diego Comic-Con, their Hall H panel. Also, so if you did not hear, Marvel Studios is doing two Hall H panels at Comic-Con this year. A week from today, next Thursday, they are doing a specific Deadpool and Wolverine panel. This is to celebrate the movie opening, and it sounds like it's going to be really fun. But then, of course, on Saturday is the big one, the big Hall H where they reveal whatever they're going to reveal, hopefully a lot. And according to Alex Perez, what he might be hinting at here is that we could be getting a big Avengers vs. X-Men announcement. Because remember, Marvel Studios has actually been planning on an X-Men movie for a while. If you recall, they've been in the process of hiring writers for the new X-Men movie for some time now, and this is officially confirmed. In fact, it sounds like they do have their writer. The last we heard, Marvel Studios had hired Michael Leslie to write the new X-Men film. This report came in May, and it was from Deadline. And based off of everything that we have heard, whatever new X-Men film is going to happen in the MCU will not be with our new official X-Men, but will actually be with some older Fox characters. So it seems to be, based off of everything that we know, the X-Men movie that Marvel Studios is planning on releasing in the near future is not based on any new mutants or new X-Men characters that are going to appear in the MCU, but rather be based on the older legacy characters. And the perfect example of that and the perfect way I think that they're going to actually do this is that new X-Men universe that we saw at the end of the Marvels. We saw Beast in the post credit scene and he mentioned Professor X. 
I believe that this universe is going to collide with our sacred timeline, and at the same time, I believe that the X-Men characters from the Deadpool and Wolverine universe, or I should say the Deadpool and Wolverine movie, because I think the X-Men characters will be from a lot of different universes in that movie, they're going to start to collide with our universe as well. Because there is one thing to keep in mind about Deadpool and Wolverine's story. Remember, we are made to believe that Cassandra Nova is the main villain of the film. We also know that Agent Paradox has his own agenda and Cassandra Nova very well might be the main villain of the film but we know that Deadpool is doing everything in Deadpool and Wolverine so he can save his universe so he can save Vanessa and Blind Owl and Negasonic Teenage Warhead and Yukio and Colossus etc but we also know that the multiverse is going to be on the brink of collapse so Deadpool simply doing what he's doing in Deadpool and Wolverine is not going to save his universe. He might temporarily save it, but of course we know since Secret Wars is coming and incursions are really going to start happening very soon, the overall threat has not been fixed, which is going to lead Deadpool and a big team, I believe, to the Sacred Timeline. Now, whether that is because of an incursion or because they somehow managed to travel there, that's unknown at this point in time. We will figure that out in a week when we see Deadpool and Wolverine. And apparently, according to some insiders, the post credit scene is supposed to be pretty big. We don't really know what it's about at this point in time. Many people are guessing, oh, probably a pretty big cameo. We did hear that Ryan Reynolds and Marvel wanted Robert Downey Jr. to appear in Deadpool and Wolverine, but for some reason it didn't work out. So a lot of people are thinking maybe Tobey Maguire Spider-Man in a post credit for Deadpool and Wolverine. Again, not confirmed. We don't really know what it's about at this point in time, and that's kind of cool. But hopefully it is a very big post credit scene. And hopefully, as hinted at by Alex Perez, we do get this announcement next week at San Diego Comic-Con. If you missed one of our videos yesterday, Kevin Feige himself did do an interview where he gave us an update about Hall H at SDCC, and he basically said, hey, this is where it all happens. This is where the biggest announcements in pop culture history happen. And he specifically said this is where he updates people on what is happening with the MCU, showing people what is to come in the next few years for Marvel Studios, what they have planned. So it's pretty big right now. There's a lot of eyes looking at Marvel Studios, a lot of hype around SDCC, especially because Marvel Studios did not attend SDCC last year. Now, ultimately, with an Avengers vs. X-Men film, I think it's going to be like our typical versus films, like a Batman vs. Superman film doesn't end with either Superman or Batman dying, right? Ultimately, it ends up with the two of them fighting together to fight a bigger threat. So obviously with the Avengers vs. X-Men, they're not going to start killing off Avengers. They might start killing off X-Men. Who knows how that's going to go? But we know that if the next Avengers film is an Avengers vs. X-Men film, they're not going to start killing off like Doctor Strange and Spider-Man. And we do know that ultimately it is going to end with them teaming up, with them realizing that the other party, the other group of superheroes, the X-Men, the Avengers, they're not threats to each other. Yes, they are universe displaced. Yes, worlds and universes are dying, but it is not due to the other group. It is due to a bigger villain, and that's when they're all going to come together. Now, who is that villain going to be? That right now is a big mystery because again, according to The Hollywood Reporter, Marvel's moving away from Kang, at least for the next Avengers film. So the big question is, are they going to bring Kang back after the film? Is he still going to be a villain of the entire multiverse saga or are they bringing somebody new in like Doctor Doom? Or will it be another villain just completely out of nowhere? Will it be the Beyonder like in the comics? We're unsure at this point in time, but we do know one thing. All of the heroes are going to come together to try and defeat this villain. They won't fight for long. However, when they do, best believe this is going to be an epic battle, an epic moment in history where we finally get the Avengers and X-Men on screen together. It'll literally make history. So one could see how Marvel Studios has that planned, how that could be a huge move for them in a time where they kind of really do need a pretty big move. However, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you excited for this? Would you like to see this or would you like to see them go a different way? I'd like to see this because I think it actually would set up Avengers Secret Wars and the events that would follow an Avengers vs. X-Men movie very, very well. But drop your thoughts in the comments down below. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all things with the MCU. You can also find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.